Have you ever wondered what happens to your recyclables after they leave the curb? Materials arrive at the processing center and are placed into a bin feeder system that breaks them up for transport on a conveyor to the pre-sort section of the facility. Here workers manually remove non-recyclables, tanglers such as this hose, and any items that are too bulky and may damage machinery. Materials then pass through a series of devices that agitate and separate light and fibrous materials like paper and cardboard to a conveyor at the top and allow three-dimensional items such as containers, jugs, and cans to fall to another conveyor below for further processing. Fiber material moves to a post-sort area for manual refinement and then falls to the floor as clean paper for compacting, bailing, and shipping to market as raw material. Larger plastic and metallic items move on to an optical scanner, which identifies PET plastics, like water bottles, and separates them from other plastics and metals using high-pressure air jets. Plastics 3 through 7 and metals move on to another post-sort section for manual refinement of the materials. Plastics are pulled into separate bins for final baling. Ferrous and non-ferrous metals pass through another machine that pulls them from the stream using powerful magnets. Sorted and baled recyclables are then sold back to companies all over the world to be used as raw materials to manufacture new products. Remember, only clean, dry, and unbagged recyclables should be placed in your blue cart in order to ensure a successful recovery at the recycling facility. Trash the bags and other tanglers to keep them from jamming the recycling equipment and bringing processing to a halt. For more information about what can and can't be recycled in your blue cart, visit hcflgov.net slash recycling.